A very embarrassing incident has happened for Russia. A Buck air defense system of the Russian armed forces struck its own system and crew members. The Buck anti-aircraft missile system was carrying out a strike on an unknown airborne target, but somehow the missile failed to reach the target and struck its own system. Footage of the system has gone viral on various social media platforms. According to preliminary data, the incident occurred in Alchevsk in the Luhansk Oblast region. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Russian Buck Air Defense System hit its own battery and troops with a missile. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that allows you to protect your privacy and identity online. It works on Mac OS, iOS, Windows, and Android devices with more than 5,400 servers in 60 countries available. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that can protect your privacy by preventing access to your internet traffic and enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Unlike many others, NordVPN now has a new threat protection feature that prevents malware from getting on users' devices and blocks trackers, intrusive and malicious ads, and harmful websites. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Also, NordVPN has launched an ultimate security package that gives you access to their VPN, password manager, and encrypted file storage. With the code DEFENSE, you can get a huge discount at the checkout for the two-year plan. The video seems to show four missiles launched in pretty quick succession. While the first three shots seem to have gone off as expected, the fourth missile appears to malfunction a few seconds after launch. After flying several hundred meters, it suddenly turned around and hit its own position. This led to the destruction of the mobile launcher of the Buck Air Defense System, as well as other assets in the vicinity. It's unclear exactly on which date this incident happened and how many casualties were sustained because of this. This is not the first such malfunctioning of the system. Some experts have compared this incident to a previous incident involving a Ukrainian-operated buck system. The Buck Air Defense Missile System was developed to replace the previous Cub. Its industrial designation is 9K37. Development of this system commenced in 1972 and was meant to be a successor to the Cub M3. It entered service with the Soviet Army in 1980. The Buck has been exported to a number of countries. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, a number of air defense systems were passed on to successor states. Currently, Russia operates around 350 of these systems. The air defense system can defeat maneuvering aircraft and helicopters flying at low or high altitudes. Buck M1 is an improved version of the original Buck. It has better resistance to electronic countermeasures and anti-radiation missiles. A standard Buck battalion consists of a command vehicle, target acquisition radar, TAR vehicle, six transporter elector launcher and radar, TELAR vehicles, and three transporter erector launcher, TEL vehicles. A Buck missile battery consists of two TELAR and one TEL vehicle. The main sensor is 9S18M1. Kubal M Snowdrift Target Acquisition Radar, which has a range of 160 kilometers or 100 miles, and is supplemented by 9S35 M1 Fire Dome Target Tracking Radar, which operates in H and I band and has a range of 85 kilometers or around 52 miles. A Buck Telar vehicle is fitted with radar, digital computer, missile erector and launcher, friend or foe identification system. It's operated by a crew of four and carries four missiles. Radar of the Buck Telar vehicle searches for targets, tracks them, and guides missiles on them. So, if required, each Telar vehicle can operate autonomously. 
The radar detects aircraft flying at an altitude over 3 kilometers or 1.8 miles at a range of 80 kilometers or 50 miles. The detection range is reduced to 40 kilometers or 25 miles when aircraft fly at 30 to 100 meters above the ground. The Buck fires 9M38 missiles. It is a single stage and solid fuel missile. It resembles U.S. Tartar and standard naval air defense missiles. Each missile has a length of 5.5 meters, a wingspan of 860 millimeters, and a weight of 710 kilograms, or 1,565 pounds. It can carry up to 70 kilograms or 155 pounds high explosive fragmentation warheads with radar proximity and a contact fusing system. It can engage targets at a range of 20 kilometers or 12 and a half miles at altitudes over 3 kilometers or 1.8 miles. The 9M38 missile has a hit probability of 70 to 93 percent. The reaction time of the system is 22 seconds from track to launch. It takes five minutes to set up after arrival on site and five minutes to depart in shoot and scoot mode. The system can engage six targets simultaneously and guide 12 missiles. According to some Russian sources, the missiles were suppressed by a powerful electronic warfare complex as a result of which a strong blow was dealt with its own positions. But currently, Ukraine doesn't possess any powerful electronic warfare complex that can strike a missile defense system that also from a long distance. Some other reports indicate that the missile may be faulty or may have been damaged during loading. There is also some speculation that there is an inherent stability issue in the Buck system. Buck Air Defense is a 40 years old system and technically these systems have many shortcomings. It has come to light that Russia has been using chips and many other components that are outdated. Russia is still using USSR tech and chips in their latest equipment because of their inability to design and manufacture new and improved ones. Three US officials with knowledge of this matter have told Reuters that Russian precision-guided missiles are failing up to 60% of the time in Ukraine. This is a massive number. The failure rate of 20% is considered high. For example, it was reported on the 20th of May, Russian troops launched a caliber missile strike on the Odessa region using aircraft. The missile, costing $6.5 million, failed to hit any important Ukrainian asset Instead, it destroyed a beach toilet in the south of the region. So it's not a surprise that so many Russian weapons have failed to work as intended, and in some cases they've simply backfired. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.